हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एस वी यूनियन हाई स्कूल एंड जूनियर कॉलेज आर सब्जेक्ट टुडे इज ई 2 चैप्टर नंबर थ्री लाइफ ऑन द अर्थ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फॉलोइंग यूनिट्स फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द अर्थ बिगिनिंग ऑफ लाइफ ऑन द अर्थ एंड द थर्ड वन इज द एनिमल वर्ल्ड ऑन द अर्थ सो चिल्ड्रेन लेट एस बिगिन विद द स्टोरी ऑफ लाइफ ऑन द अर्थ वेन वी थिंक अबाउट अर्थ देर आर मेनी टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट आर आइज इन आर माइंड लाइक हाउ मस्ट हैव द अर्थ फॉर्म्ड हाउ मस्ट हैव लाइफ बिगैन ऑन अर्थ एंड हाउ मस्ट हैव एनिमल वर्ल्ड एग्जिस्ट ऑन द अर्थ वी ऑल्सो थिंक दैट वेन must have the earth appeared or formed was it always the same as the way we see it today or has it undergone some changes if it has changed what exactly are those changes on the basis of scientific research it is believed that around 4.5 billion years ago an enormous cloud of a very hot gas and dust spinning at a great speed was formed in space what does enormous mean children enormous means very huge or large and when this enormous cloud of very hot gas and dust was spinning now what is spinning means spinning means it was turning around itself at a very great speed its circular motion and the great speed caused it to divide into several portions thus creating the sun and the planet which revolve around the sun we all have studied about the planets in our previous lesson in evs1 let us revise the names of all these planets mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune we all have studied that these planets revolve around the sun and rotate around themselves we also know that among these planet only earth is the planet where life exists let us learn the beginning of life on earth we have learned about the animal kingdom and the plant kingdom or living on the earth there are variety of different types of animals living on the earth some are big some are small some live in water some live on land and there are some animals which can live on land and water we have variety of birds too which adjust themselves or adapt themselves in various circumstances and climatical conditions on the surface of the earth we have also learnt about the plant kingdom there are variety of different types of plants on the earth they all have different characteristics as they adjust themselves or adapt themselves in the various different atmosphere on the earth among all the planets only earth has life on it after the creation of the earth we all know that the earth was very hot at the beginning it took a very long time for it to cool down it took about 80 crore years for its surface to cool down and for the water bodies to be formed on it various kinds of unicellular organisms 
known as protozoa first appeared in the water unicellular animals are animals made up of only one cell which are very small and minute they cannot be seen by our naked eyes when many cells come together a multicellular animal is formed various kinds of these unicellular an organisms appeared first in the water gradually multicellular living things developed from these unicellular ones now multicellular animals means animals having many cells this is how life developed on the earth now i said unicellular animals are very small and minute they cannot be seen by our naked eyes this is an instrument shown, minute living which things is called as a microscope -living which things. is used like the unicellular animals it can be plant cell or animal cell let us talk about the animal world on the earth there are many different types of animals having different characteristics different habits and different habitats on the surface of the earth some give birth to their young ones some lay eggs and give birth to their young ones so all these are called as characteristics of animals now let us go through some of the characteristics of living thing for example animals breathe all living th living things on the earth breathe they take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide while breathing at the same time all the animals all the living things need food and they move around in search of food plants do not move for in search of food they prepare their own food but animals move in search of food and at the same time animals give births to their young ones in by different various methods like i told you some lay eggs some give birth directly to their young ones a variety of different types of animals living on land in water and in air now the for above picture is showing us the animal called platypus platypus and the next picture shows us the picture of ant eater this is how life on the earth started and developed slowly and steadily today we have a huge plant kingdom and animal kingdom on the earth our mother earth gives us many things in the form of natural resources so it is our duty children to look after and take care of our mother earth i hope you have understood this lesson thank you children